Hello, hello, hello. OMG, welcome back to my channel. So happy that you are here. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. I appreciate you. It's Jody Dunn, and I am coming at you with a new weekly video, and we are going to be working in my bedroom today. My initial plan was to get my bedroom just picked up, tidied up, and I really need to get some deep cleaning done. Um, I always like my bedroom just to be, the only time I ever spend in here is when I'm sleeping. <laughs> and I just want it, I want to walk in and just feel like it is a peaceful, calm place. And so I've got more than normal of just stuff sitting all around that I knew needed to be taken care of. Of course, I've explained this several, several times, but my clothes are all on the dresser because my husband does 90% of our laundry. He folds my clothes and sets them on the dresser because I changed the way I fold my clothes more to the KonMari method like over a year ago. He can't figure it out, <laughs> which is totally fine. I love that he does our laundry. He puts them on top of the dresser and then I take care of them. Uh, but I've waited for quite a while, so they've been piling up. So that was my initial plan, and then it just basically turned into me kind of picking up this dresser area and then going through my dresser and actually doing decluttering. I didn't want to. I didn't want to do decluttering today. Um, I will be very honest with you. Clothes are probably the hardest thing for me to declutter, and although I didn't want to because I knew that it wasn't going to be fun and it was going to be hard. Um, I just couldn't get it off my mind. And so that's where I ended up was decluttering. If you are new and you just found me, I am so happy that you are here. Would you please say hello to me and let me know that you are new in the comment section. I would love to welcome you and say hello back to you. And if you are already subscribed, thank you so much for coming back to another video. I appreciate you. Definitely feel free to leave me a hello so I can say hi to you as well. So I am really, really bad at holding on to things that I should have gotten rid of a long time ago. Uh, I found a couple pair of leggings up here that had lots of holes in them. I don't know why I'm holding on. To, well, I do kind of know. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, but what is the saying? You wear 20% of your wardrobe 80% of the time. So true. Uh, we're going to take just a quick little Tom break here in a second because he decided to hang out with me in my bedroom today. And he doesn't usually hang out in my bedroom, so I was enjoying it. Thomas, you were so pretty. You were so pretty. Oh, you're drooling. <laughs> Thomas, you're so happy you're drooling. Oh my gosh, tell me if you, I've had so many cats that will just drool when they just get so excited. <laughs> Thomas is one of them, sweet boy. The sound of cats purring is just so therapeutic to me, so I wanted to share that, and then I caught him drooling. You'll have to let me know if you've ever had a cat uh, that drools like that. I've had several. When when you start petting them and they just are purring really intently, they just start drooling. So here are three, two pair of leggings and one shirt, so three clothing items that needed to be thrown out that I was holding onto that I'm going to get rid of. And at this point right now, I'm still kind of in cleaning mode. And in the back of my mind, I keep thinking, look at how, I mean, my room needs to be cleaned. Look at, this is just a dry microfiber cloth. <laughs> my dresser is very dusty. But in my mind, as I'm starting to clean, I'm like, you really need to go through those drawers, Jody. Just do the hard thing that you don't want to do. And then you're done with it. The cleaning part of it, I don't mind because once everything is decluttered and picked up, it's much easier to clean. And it's inside my dresser, so it still wouldn't be hard to clean. But it was in my mind and it was bothering me. I knew I needed to do it. And so I just finally ended up sitting down and scrapping the cleaning and getting to decluttering. 
So I am not a psychologist. I don't have a psychological degree. <laughs> However, I think one thing I have learned about myself is um, something that I have spent many years now trying to work on and improve upon, and it I'm sure will probably be a constant battle for me, is um, not having a lack mindset or feeling like you are lacking. We went through many, many years of financial hardship where it just was barely possible to pay the bills. Now, we never were without food. We always had a roof over our head. So there are other people that have had it much worse than we have ever had it. Um, but we've gone through some pretty, pretty hard times for many, many years. And I hold on to things, I think, because what if I can't afford it? Now, I hate the what if game because nobody ever plays the what if game as what if everything works out and what if everything is great. This was my first ever, I just got a new one for Christmas. Uh, Grayson had got me a shirt that was my favorite. It said cool grandma on it. Uh, I think the first Christmas after she had EJ and I wore the heck out of this thing. <laughs> look at, look at it. <laughs> it literally has holes everywhere, like everywhere. I wore the heck out of this shirt. I loved it. So look, I mean, look at this, you guys. Uh, and it, I kept wearing it even if it, after it had holes <laughs> because I loved it to the point where my husband started hiding it. He didn't throw it away, but he started hiding it on me and I actually forgot I had it. <laughs> it he must've hit it in that drawer or I finally put it in that drawer. <sighs> I got a new one for Christmas. It's a super nice one. It doesn't say cool grandma here let me see if I can find it I don't know if it's clean let me see if I can find it it's a very very nice like the material is very it must be dirty hang on I don't think I've ever showed you it look through my dirty clothes hang on here it is I think this is it. I can tell by feeling it. It's such a nice, yeah, it's dirty. <laughs> it's such a nice material. It's much more subtle. Uh, it says cool grandma club, but I love it. And it's, this is, I mean, this was my favorite shirt forever because I love being a grandma, um, but it's regular t-shirt material. This is like, I can't, I don't know how to explain it. More expensive, um, it's going to hold up through my many times of wearing it because I wear this one often as well. I might cut this up and use it for rags. So at least I'm putting it to use in some way. Uh, but I won't wear it anymore. It does have too many holes in it. All right, let's get back. See, we're going to find lots of things that have holes in it. Now that shirt I held on to more for sentimental reasons. <laughs> But I hate the what if game. I try never to play it. Um, be, but I still find myself sometimes like, what if? What if I can't afford to do this and I need a new shirt? I should hold on to this one so at least I have one. I've shared this before, but I hide money all around my house in very small increments. So that way when I open up a drawer and I see it, I'm reminded that money is all around me. All right, so far I have three piles. This is get rid of. This is maybe some of the things on here. I'm not sure if they fit or not fit, which is not always going to be a determining factor whether I keep them or not. It may be for you, but it's not for me. And th this is keep. So at least I know already getting rid of like, I don't know, 10 shirts. So that's pretty good. Uh, I'm going to go through these and see what of these I want to keep. My grandmother grew up in the Depression um, and obviously had a very lack mindset for a lot of things because she had a very rough childhood. And, you know, that stuff gets passed down. So it, it, it will probably be a lifelong battle for me. 
Um, and I, I work on it constantly and try to remind myself that abundance is all around me in all things. But I am very bad at letting go of clothes, even if they have holes in them. I will always spend money on my children first to make sure they have things. Um, and it, it, it's a process that I'm getting better and better at. And today, I was so darn proud of myself. I decided to clean up my socks and undies drawer, which I haven't done in forever. And I know I have old, old things in here that have holes that need to be thrown away for sure. What in the world? Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? That's a bonus. I've told you before, I hide money all through, throughout my house. Feels weird when you can't see my, when, you, when I'm talking to you and you can't see my face. Um, I like to, to just stick small amounts of money in places and kind of forget about them. And then when I happen upon them, it's one way that I have used to help fix my lack mindset. Um, around money or other things that I feel like I'm lacking in. Um, and, it, you know, it's like $5, $2, $10. Sometimes I might even put a 20. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I have no idea when I put this in here. Uh, this is way more than a 20. 100, 200, 50. It's my lucky day. OMG, I wasn't going to do this. I didn't want to do this. And then two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, two hundred and sixty one dollars. Are you freaking kidding me? My dad always sends, um, he always gives for birthdays whenever he can incorporate a two dollar bill, uh, because he wants to keep them in circulation. <laughs> God bless my dad. So I always save them. I mean, they're just spendable money, but, you know, they're from my dad. That's why I save them more than because it's cool to have a $2 bill. Um, uh, holy moly. Okay, I'm super happy I decided to do this today. Let's get back to it. Well, that was a bonus I was not expecting. Oh, my gosh. It had to have been. The only thing I can think of is maybe a time when my husband and I went to a casino and I came home with some money and I just stashed it in there and I forgot that it was in there. And this drawer has been so jam-packed full of stuff that I haven't used in years. I have all my kids' old teeth in there too. <laughs> we talked about that a couple of videos ago when I found some in the kitchen, but most of them are kept here. Uh, so yay, I'm so happy I decided to do the hard thing that I didn't want to do and, uh, getting it done. So my husband does not suffer from this syndrome at all, <laughs> which sometimes amazes me. I like, I don't understand it. The man will go and buy himself. This is all the stuff that came out of that drawer, OMG. But the man will go and buy himself new socks, new underwear. I don't know, every three to four months. And, and I haven't bought myself new underwear in literally years. <laughs> it's so silly. And I sometimes it ticks me off a little. Like, why do you need new underwear already? Why do you need new socks? It's, it's really, it's dumb. It's dumb. And like I said, it's something I'm working on. Of course, he should buy new socks and underwear whenever he needs them. We are not in a financial situation where we cannot afford it. We can absolutely afford it. So this year for Christmas, my husband went and bought me 12 pairs of new underwear. <laughs> Because I literally haven't bought myself any for years. And I think every single pair of underwear I owned had at least one hole, but most of them had multiple because they were so old. They had been washed so many times. Uh, and he knew I wouldn't buy them for myself. I'm terrible about buying myself socks. I have so many 
socks that have holes in them. And I just figure as long as nobody else can see the hole, <laughs> it's so silly. I'm working on it, you guys. I'm working on it. I got rid of 17 pairs of underwear. Oh my gosh. And a whole bunch of socks that had holes or the elastic had worn out. And so they slip right off your feet. This was a big step for me and I'm very proud of myself. I have also struggled with my weight all of my adult life, which I think plays a part um, as well, but it definitely, it doesn't play a part nearly as big as me being nervous that I won't be able to afford something. This is what my socks and undie drawer looked like. It was literally jam-packed. Um, I was probably only using things that were on the very top because I couldn't see anything else. And now it is all cleaned out. It feels so much better. And a huge bonus of finding that money. So this is all the stuff that I am donating from that bottom drawer. Everything from my top drawer, my socks and undie drawer, that's going in the trash. I'm not donating any of that. Uh, so I'm just going to start a small bag for the things that I am going to donate. I think I had like 10 shirts in here. And again, I know it's probably going to seem silly to some, but that was a big step for me. So I'm going to end the night right here. The one bag is full of garbage and the other bag I started for donation. And just like I do with all projects, I will pick it up on a new day and spend a little more time. So I think that only took me about 20 minutes. So we are now on a new day and I'm going to move to this top drawer here. Uh, that I know probably has a lot of stuff in it that I don't use. Uh, so I don't like to pull out everything. Um, I don't mind doing one drawer at a time. I work best that way. There's no way I'd empty all of these drawers at once to try to go through it. That would be way too overwhelming for me. But I know that method works for some people. It just does not work for me. So I'm just going one drawer at a time. And I know this drawer is going to probably have some hard things in here. Uh, I talked a little bit. I've talked previously about, um, you know, struggling with my weight. And I did reach a point where I had lost 70 pounds. I was feeling absolutely fantastic. Then the pandemic hit and I did gain some of the weight back. Not all of the weight though. Um, but like I've got some things in here. I think I had three bathing suits in here. I very rarely will even wear a bathing suit. I'm. It's just out of my comfort level. I think you should be happy in the body you have and you should have fun. And I totally believe that. And you should wear the bathing suit when you're going to the beach or going to the pool. I'm just sharing with you the reality that I do not feel comfortable in a bathing suit. So I certainly do not need three of them when I barely wear them. And here's a pair of shorts I found. Uh one pair of shorts. This was probably at my heaviest weight. I think they were a size 22, 24, and they are absolutely huge on me, just huge on me. And I've kept these for all of these years to remind myself how far I have come, even though I have gained some of the weight back that I lost. Uh, I still have come a long way. But today, I think I am just ready to let go of these shorts. I don't need them. So they're going to go in the donations. And then I found another pair of leggings that I must have stuck in this drawer that had holes all down the sides from my thighs rubbing together that I've been holding on to for God knows what. I'm getting rid of them today. Those are going in the trash because they are filled with holes. I found a really cute sports bra in here, too, that I never wore. Uh, the majority of my new clothes come from my husband. God bless him. He'll buy me new clothes for, you know, birthdays, Christmas, Mother's Day, something like that, because he knows I'm so bad at buying myself new clothes. Um, the issue is he's not a, he's not great at um, the correct size. <laughs> so, like, when I had lost all that weight... He bought me a really cute sports bra, a Nike sports bra. It did not fit. It was too small. I actually had Donna Jean try it on because she uses sports bras for volleyball, and it fit her. <laughs> so anyways, I'm going to put back the things in here that I am keeping, which is one bathing suit, one bathing suit cover-up. I don't need three. 
But I do have to say, I think it's very sweet. Um, I'm bagging up the things I am donating from that drawer. I think it's very sweet that when my husband does buy me clothes, he just must see me as a smaller size than I actually am. So usually the clothes don't quite fit. They're just a little bit too small. Uh, I have recently lost not a lot. Uh, and, you know, nothing that I even planned on sharing. But there are some of my maybe pile that are clothes that my husband bought me that didn't fit. I thought, well, let me just put, I've only lost a few pounds, not a lot. I don't think it's going to make any difference. So I was quite shocked. Just started going through my maybe pile. These are a pair of gray. Under Armour is my favorite brand of leggings. Uh, my husband bought me these like a year ago. They did not fit. They fit. I can't even believe it. They fit. I can pull them up. They fit. I like them. I don't have gray leggings. I don't know how to model clothes, but here we go. Okay, these, uh, <laughs> these, the crotch is hanging down because I can't get them up. I can't get them up any higher over my big hips. Uh, so I don't, I can't pull them up anymore. So <sighs> probably if I lost another 10 pounds, they'd be fine. I don't know. I kind of like them. They got the pockets. I like the leggings that have the pockets in them. I find it very useful. Well, see, now I'm just being undecided again. I don't know. I didn't know they're not. They're not the Under Armour brand that I love, um, but they feel pretty comfortable. They, I think they're some type of off-brand from Kohl's, and I they think they're thick enough that they're not see-through. I don't know. Maybe I'll wait for a minute. And then my husband, my husband saw this on the ground, and he goes, oh, no, you found it. <laughs> He goes, I wasn't ever going to throw it away. I just tried to get it out of rotation. All right, let me try on. Let me try on the next pair of maybes. All right, here's the next pair of that. I think my husband got for me. It's been over a year, and I couldn't get them up. Um, and they fit. They got them up. They're a little loud. They got stripes color here. Which that's not for everybody. Uh, but you already know I love color. I don't have anything like this. I think I'm going to keep these. Man. Man. I had this stuff in my drawer forever. I just didn't, you know, I don't know. You lose, you lose a little bit, like nine pounds. And you don't think it's going to make that much of a difference. But it's... I got two pair of leggings that didn't fit before then. <laughs> now they fit. Uh, let's try on these. I'm not, these are Under Armour, which again, I love the brand um, of the leggings. Not sure about this pattern. I think it's going to be too busy, um, which just draws more attention to all the areas that normally you don't want attention drawn to. Uh, but let's try these on next. These are not Under Armour, they're Kohl's brand, uh, and they fit, but I don't think, I don't know, let's take a look together. Yeah, no, definitely not. The loud stripes down the, <laughs> that does not bother me at all. It's too much, too much pattern, uh, white, no. No, I don't. They fit, but I don't like them. So we're going to donate these. I think I have one more pair to try on. I was actually not even planning on trying these on. This was the one more pair I have to try on. These are actual Under Armour. Um, they're brand new, but they are size medium. And I wear a size large in their leggings, so I'm not even going to attempt to try these on because I know they're not going to fit. Um... However, I'm not letting them go yet, but I did try these on. <laughs> these are loud. They are loud. They're Halloween leggings. Uh, they're fun. They're fun. I'll wear them one time a year, maybe. I'm keeping them. I think they're fun. I can't believe they even fit. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> so, out of my maybe pile that I had found yesterday... I only got rid of one, but 
I literally was not expecting all of those pants to fit me. I had, what did I say? Oh, one, two, hang on. How many did I actually have that fit me? <clears throat> one, two. Oh, I only had two. Two out of, well, three. Three. <laughs> three out of five fit me. I wasn't expecting any of them to fit me, so that was a nice bonus. Um, and the two that don't fit, not getting rid of. All right, let's move on. All right, then I had this one shirt in there uh, that I wasn't even sure what size it was. I just found the tag. It's a small, so it, it, does, it does not fit me. <laughs> it does not. But I like it because it says thankful heavens. I look huge right here because it's so skin tight on me. Grateful, thankful, blessed. It's too, it, it's skin tight, which I don't wear my clothes skin tight. Um, let me fix the camera. There, can you, okay, there. Yeah, I don't wear my clothes skin tight. Um, and I'd like my shirts to be a little bit longer cover the belly area. Uh, I'm not getting rid of it. <laughs> no, I'm going to get, I'm going to get so many comments of people like you shouldn't hold on to clothes that don't fit you. It's taking up space. I know all of the things I know. Um, but again, we're all, we all work different. We all operate different. I don't ever look at any of my clothes that don't fit and feel, um, sad or feel like I failed um, or anything like that. I don't have a negative emotion to this shirt not fitting. I actually have a, hey, hey, we could keep this shirt. Here's our starting point. Let's see where we're at in two months. Th that's just the feeling I get. And I like the shirt. I would totally wear this shirt if it fit properly. But if you have negative emotions around if something doesn't fit and it makes you feel bad, then definitely don't keep it. But I don't, I don't have that experience um, for whatever reason. I don't know, uh, but I don't. So I'm gonna keep this one. It's actually a little crazy to me that <laughs> those types of things don't bother me. Like if something doesn't fit, I just, I don't look at it negatively because of gaining weight. Um, it's more of the the money mindset, the, the feeling like, oh, what if, what if I can't afford it? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Uh, I haven't even asked you yet, but I would love to hear what you are working on. Definitely feel free to share it with me down in the comments if you would like to. I would love to be inspired. I always get inspired when you guys share with me what projects you have going on in your house. I hope everything is going well for you this week. And I appreciate you so, so much for spending some time with me. I now have all of the clothes that I'm keeping. Um, and I'm just kind of reorganizing them in my dresser. And there's more. I have drawers on the side of my bed. They're very, very small. Uh, and I have my closet. Uh, this was all I had the energy to go through this week. Um, I've put drawer dividers in my um, other drawer quite a while ago, like well over a year ago. I had one left because I had never put one in this bottom drawer. So I'm going to go ahead and put it to use today. I do really think that it helps to organize the clothes better and just really maximize your space more. Um, I wish I had another one, but I did find this one actually is an extra one I had for my kitchen drawers. It's too big. It doesn't match the other one. I don't care. I could actually fit it this way. Uh, so I'm just going to put this in here see how I like it and just it helps separate and just keep things a little bit more organized inside this drawer. All right, let's take a look at some before and after. So this was one drawer in here that had no organization at all and it was pretty much just jam packed full of stuff that I didn't use. And now this is what the drawer looks like. I can see everything I have and uh, no drawer dividers in this drawer, but super duper happy with how that drawer turned out. This was my drawer that I use all of the time. It pretty much didn't change at all. 
other than I just kind of refolded things and figured out what I was keeping and not keeping. And it looks fairly the same as it did before. It was organized before. It's still organized. This drawer on the bottom was very disorganized and just had some things thrown in here. I wasn't even using it. It was just like a space where I was putting something extra if I had something extra. And now it's a much more organized and I can see what I have in here. And then you already saw my socks in undie drawer that I already took care of. And these are the things that I will be donating. I just wanted to see how many pieces of clothing I was getting rid of and I had them in two separate bags so I'm just going to go ahead and condense them all into one bag and it ended up being 27 items of clothing um there was a couple of belts in there as well but 27 items I am donating and that feels so so good and then I ended up throwing away like another 25 items that were not donatable so that was an awesome purge of just my dresser. All right, it wasn't what I wanted to do, but it was what I needed to do, and I'm so happy I got it done. So this is a bag of garbage. It has about 26 or 27 items in it, mostly all small items because I threw away all those underwear. I don't know, four pairs of leggings that had holes in them, two T-shirts that had, um, no, one T-shirt that like the, it was so faded that the t-shirt was almost see-through. The fabric was worn down from wearing it so much. Uh, and then 27 items to donate, which is awesome. So I got my drawers all organized, cleaned out. They look so much better. I got rid of a lot, two bags, one of garbage, one big bag to donate. Found myself $261, which was incredible. Found myself some leggings that I didn't even think fit, and they do fit. So it's kind of like I got myself some new clothes. And there you go. That is what I have for you today. Thank you so, so much for spending some time with me. I appreciate you. I hope it inspired you to get a little decluttering done in your house. And uh, just get rid of some things and make the space feel a little better. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you so much, and I'm going to see you again soon. Bye!